Hi everyone, my name's Beth from Bethany Spiders and I'm here today to show you how to set up the flower beetle starter kit from the spider shop. So let's go and check it out. So here we have the flower beetle starter kit with this stunning flower beetle on the front. And then we've got a list here of all of the things that are included. As you can see, there's lots of bits and bobs included in this starter kit. So when you open it up, you'll be greeted with a sea of packing peanuts, which I hate. So let's just fast forward and remove those as if by magic. So now we can see what's included. The first thing that we've got here is a nice curved piece of cork bark. This will be used for the beetles to hide underneath and live underneath. Next we've got a nice big bag of leaf litter. Then we've got our spray bottle. This is really, really useful for making sure that you keep the correct amount of moisture in your enclosure. We've got a jelly pot holder. This is what the beetles will feed from. And then we've got two bags of the decayed leaf substrate and we'll go into a little bit more detail about this substrate later on in the video but it's got everything that your beetles need already included in this bag and another bag just here and then lastly we've got the pot of insect jelly and this is what will be going in the insect jelly holder of course so the first thing I'm going to do is add in the decayed leaf substrate. This substrate has been developed for rearing flower beetles and is suitable for egg laying and feeding larvae. It contains decayed oak and beech leaf litter with active enzymes and fungal mycelium. Egg laying females of small to medium species require a substrate depth of about 15 to 20 centimetres. So this should be enough for the females that I'm going to put in this enclosure to actually lay eggs. Fingers crossed. This substrate has also got no additives in it and has not been treated in any way. So here I am just adding in the jelly pots into the jelly pot holder. Make sure that you remove that top film before you pop them into the enclosure. And I'm just adding in a nice big layer of that leaf litter that will just give the beetles more security and it also helps to lock in moisture. And there we have it. Doesn't that look cosy? <laughs> so the beetles that I'm going to be adding in here today are of course flower beetles and they are the Messinarina harissi. Probably got that completely wrong but at least I had a go. They are a terrestrial beetle. They're about three to five centimeters big so they're relatively small and these two here are females. And you can see they've got gorgeous coloration. I love the yellows all over their back. They are very docile and easy to keep so if you're a beginner to a beetles I would definitely recommend that you check out flower beetles. These beetles can be found in Cameroon, Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda in the wild. Absolutely stunning colours. And here we have the male. So you will see that he has large forward projecting horns. So this is how you can tell the males and the females apart. Very much like stag beetles in that way. But they have the same pattern in 
and the same colours on their back. And he was very keen to get into his new home. But I would definitely recommend that you go and check out some flower beetles if you were thinking about adding beetles into your collection. Flower beetles are definitely a very good place to start. Or if you're an avid beetle lover anyway, these are definitely some stunning ones to add into your collection. So guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it useful if you've got any further questions about setting up the flower beetle starter kit reach out to myself or the spider shop on social media you can find the spider shop on facebook instagram and tiktok so go and give them a follow so that's enough from me thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye